Hopefully you all enjoy this topic today because I know I did and uh, let's just get right into it. So this is kind of cool, uh, lucid dreaming. I'm going to talk about what it is, how to get it, or how to experience it, and my experience with it last night. That's right, my first lucid dream happened last night. So basically what it is, is you kind of realize you're, as you're sleeping and you're dreaming, you kind of realize that you're dreaming within a dream. Like, it's, it's very confusing. So let's look at it like this. Like, most dreams are a movie that you're watching. You just so happen to be, like, a first-person perspective. You kind of are watching it happen. You have no sway of what's going to happen. It kind of just happens, and you feel like you have sway. Like, you feel like you did control it, but you're actually not. It's just your subconscious running around and doing whatever it wants to do. Replaying events from that day what have it but in a lucid dream you kind of take control it's like you realize you're dreaming and you're like whoa I can do anything I want it's like you gain your like your memory like you gain yourself back if that makes sense you just it happens like that so let me kind of like set this up let me tell you what the dream was like and maybe you guys will find this story interesting but happened last night and it was the first one ever so I think it's like very important that I just wake up and I let you guys know what's happening in my lucid dream or rather what's happening in my head so the dream kind of started off like I was in a college not my college and in fact no college that I know of and it was like weird it was like the dorms were apartments and they were large you know and it was like raining out and I was just like stuck in the dorm and I was like looking across I was like my class is like right over there and they like cancel classes for some reason like just because of the rain they were like well we can't let the students that live on campus get wet or something so we were all just stayed in our dorms and like I'm looking across and I'm like there's no way this is happening like it's just rain they're not gonna cancel campus so I like I felt like I broke the rules or something and I walked outside and whenever I walked outside I kinda got the feeling like like in real life kind of whenever you I don't know a good way to I don't know courage or something like butterflies I I don't know it's whatever feeling that is like I got that feeling and he was like whoa like this is a dream like I'm not this is not real so at that point I kind of just roamed around like it was so weird it was like I just went wherever I wanted to go but it was like I was stuck in a campus and I could not do anything like a lot of people was like oh yeah I could just fly around the world and stuff but no I was I was stuck in the campus but I was making decisions for myself and it was like really weird like what I would do is like I went into a classroom, completely stole some person's paper, and just went up to the front and read it, and apparently I like got a 100, I'm like, I'm not even in this class, and I'm just like, banking 100s, and it's like, and at that point I was like really confused, I was like, yeah, this is definitely a dream, no way I'm ever going to do this, like, I was 100% logical in this, but I go back to like the dorm or the apartment, and it's like, it's huge like I'm telling you it's like the size of a house it's definitely not a school dorm or whatever and there's like these huge TVs everywhere and of course like no one had to pay for them or anything so I'm like I'm literally in my dream just watching TV like I'm doing what I would do in real life like I'm looking for a console and this is like all 100% true and I'm like really just looking around and then next thing I know I'm like I'm thinking back into like real life like I know this is a dream like I'm just sitting there kind of bored like I know it's really bad but it's like I was bored it was like nothing to do I'm stuck in a campus I literally could not leave there was no escape and then I thought like I was like wait a minute I want this car in real life and if you guys want to know what car it is it is a 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution I know it's a, it's a dream car and I'm like well I want this car so I literally just think that it's there walk outside and it's there like the car is there and I like hop in and I'm just like riding around it's so fun I'm like I just I never want to wake up it's like so good and I'm like cruising through some fields and I've also been playing a lot of Horizon 2 and I'm 
that could have been where like the car came in and the fields came in and like at that point I was able to leave and then like the dream just kind of keeps on going it keeps building on itself and I keep doing other stuff too it honestly I could have been there for about three to four days like dream days and it just it got way out of hand really quickly like I'm talking like murder and stuff like bad stuff was happening around me and I kind of was afraid and um, I thought it was like my fault like I was like I should not know that I'm dreaming it's like ruining everything and like literally like people were dying like I was driving through a field and people were just dead and I'm like okay I've got to wake up I've got to do something to wake myself up and it come to the point like I'm driving I'm like okay I've got to get into a wreck like it has to happen I gotta like just jolt myself awake and then as I'm driving and like I kind of stop and it's like this weird feeling of like this could be real life like what if I'm not dreaming and then I kind of like stop and I'm really confused and keep in mind lucid dreamings where you are thinking the way you are now it's just like you unlock this another world and I'm like maybe I should not do this maybe I shouldn't drive off cliff that's kind of irrational and it just kind of I stop there and next thing I hear is like a sound like a siren coming I'm like oh no it's the police like I must have stolen this car or something like I'm crazy and I I keep hearing the siren and I wake up and I'm just sweating I'm laying in my bed and it was my alarm clock that actually got me up and it was just crazy like honestly it was like it was the most surreal thing I've ever experienced before in my life and especially like that decision like driving off a cliff to wake myself up I didn't like that I didn't like how that's what I rationalized and was gonna do but I guess the good thing is is I did stop and did not do it because who knows I could be delusional and just driving around in my car and randomly just fly off the side of cliffs but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you want to hear more dreams I don't think they'll be lucid dreams where they're like as crazy but I do have some pretty crazy dreams let me know down in the comments section and I will see you next time